Hi, everybody. I feel so silly. I feel so silly because I just spent an hour, probably, going through a Happy Meal that I got from Yolanda. And once I got finished going through the Happy Meal, I went to go turn the video off and realized I never turned it on. So I videotaped nothing, nothing. So now I'm going to go back through what was in the package, although now it won't be as exciting because now I know what's in the package because I done went through it once. Yolanda, I am so, I'm blown away from the beautiful things, by the beautiful things that you sent me. I am just, this package of beautiful things is just amazing. So, but I want to show, I want to show all my friends what you sent me. So I'm going to go, now I'm going to go in reverse and show what all is in this package. And so, so now I'm going to start from the bottom of the package and go through the top. Thank you, Yolanda. I can't even express to you in words how much I appreciate every every little item that you put into this package and all the little notes all the way through it everything it's amazing so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to show a little bit here now to the rest of my friends about how how blessed i am and how grateful i am for you okay now i'm going to put put the camera down so we can see and um and see you can see things are already all over my desk from where I had opened everything and videoed nothing but so I'm this was at the end of the package was this here piece or a few sheets of very vintage um music papers so vintage that it crumbling on the edges which is absolutely beautiful and here at the end also was this beautiful picture of this here pickup truck which I love this and like I was saying before um, this old pickup truck puts me in the memory of my dad my dad had a well it wasn't like this this is a real old one here but, and, but my dad had a, a Datsun pickup and he bought it brand new brand new he bought that when he bought it but he used it for like 25 years or maybe not longer I don't know a long time and he was a carpenter so he used it back and forth to go to work but by the time he passed he was still he actually was getting ready to go to work and but anyway um his truck kind of looked all beat up like this and and the hood the roof of the truck here the roof part of it because he he had always had ladders leaning up against it it had run holes in the roof up there and but my dad fixed it up just fine with duct tape so it worked just fine he didn't mind he still kept he just still kept using his old dots and pickup truck look at that the old running board on there thank you for that now this was actually the last thing I opened. This journal. Look at this. Have you ever seen anything quite like this? And the silly thing is, she wrote me a note. She said, um, the note, well, anyway, there were so many notes through here. and But she put a note with this journal that said, she wouldn't mind if I threw it away. Because she felt like this journal, I'm telling you, is so beautiful, so thoughtful. And it took so much time and, and thought to put it together. All the pages in this journal are coffee filters. They're all coffee filters. That's what all the pages are. And I haven't... She's got the coffee filters in there. And um, they look like she's got them glued. I don't know. I'll have to dissect this with my magnifying glass. But every page in here has got 
beauty in it. And as you see, each one of these ribbons that you see flipping out, that are poking out from it, are another, um, another um, a scripture reading or a um, or a sentiment of some kind. And then she's got each one in a little pocket. Oh, I lost this pocket. But it's um, oh, this is just beautiful. This is just beautiful. And I was saying how, now repeating what I already said about this as I was first going through it, um, I can't remember everything I said because I wasn't, of course, videotaping. And, um, and there is so much in this. I'm going to put it in onto my kitchen table is where this is going to be and I'm going to be able and, and anybody who sits at my table I am sure will look at this will look at this will thumb through it and see all the beauty that's in this 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 took a lot of time look at these two tags those are um like the little fruit jars and then they're covered with lace and and um trim they're so pretty and then pages pockets made out of the um the the music sheets everything there is so much in here look at that little doily right there in the middle and and i could even still keep putting in in fact, I will want to find, oh, this is, have to explain about my handmade journal. Nope, she don't have her name on here. But see, I will take that note and I will put her name on it, but I will put that in this book. I will put that in there and so that that will in fact, I'll probably put all them little notes back into this yearbook. And then, after I went through the whole book, then I seen, because I was thinking that this was maybe something she had made a long while ago and just decided to send it to me. But then when I got all the way through the book, then I saw on the back cover here, it said Lizzie B. And then then i read and seen she made it for me she just didn't make it and send it to me she made it for me and that really tugs at my heartstrings like you just wouldn't believe that's just this is beautiful this this is something you know every morning i kind of well sometimes i forget and i don't but almost every morning i always first read some scripture or read some kind of an inspirational story to start my day and um and this having this on my dining room table with my cup of coffee is going to be like every day i will be able to pull out something different and um th th there's just it's hard to show it because look at how it's made it's just so beautiful and so but it is every bit made out of coffee filters that she ironed with the iron and that is what the pages are to make this round to make this round and then the bottom look or the bottom the covers look how the covers are so pretty with the lace the doilies there's burlap along the binding but you can't close it so it's going to live like this I'll put like a little doily on the table and this will sit on it that is so perfect and I thank you so much this is amazing and I kept out um, this here little um, this was in there. I'm going to read this at the end because I always read something at the end. So I'm going to try and quickly go through everything again. This package here is all flowers. They're all little flowers and, um, and leaves, little white leaves. These little white leaves like this, I was saying, 
how fun these are to have these these leaves and there's probably a dozen in each bundle and she's got a couple two bundles in there i'm thinking that these white leaves you could probably um, color them to even make them different colors but you could also make butterfly wings out of them angel wings fairy wings anything out of these very satiny flowers and that is beautiful and in and then within here is also many different colors of these little roses like this and there are so many things we can do with these roses so let me show you that then in this package is oh, there's so much is these little she these are all handmade little flowers little handmade flowers that she has stitched together glued together and there's a whole bunch there's probably at least a dozen going all over my desk here like i say i went through it already one time and then um but i wasn't taping and so now here and then in here is also a lot of pieces of different colors of this it's like a um, organza and a ribbon like organza ribbon and satin ribbon together and it's all put together um, in a box pleat and this is something i've never seen before this is beautiful when i think i've seen everything you know and then i get something that i've never seen before but she has a whole lot of that in here there's rickrack in here of different colors and then some more of the box pleat with this lavender ribbon which i know this a lot of this is going to go on my quilt blocks a lot of this because i'm so much into my quilt blocks right now and then this here trim and in this book there was some of the tags that she used this these tags here that she made she used this trim on and so that's beautiful trim i've never seen anything like that that is beautiful very delicate and then this one look this one's real narrow and it's of the ivory color and again all box pleated all the way down that's so pretty and this one i was amazed with too this is just the organza ribbon but again it's box pleated but it doesn't have the satin on it but look how pretty that is this one i'm going to definitely use in some of my slow stitching on a slow stitching um snippet roll that i'm making right now right now and um because i can do a stitch all the way down this middle and i'm just already seeing what it's going to look like in my mind so and then and then oh here's one of the little flowers and she put a gem in it and but now she also in this package and i already put them let's see in this package let me put these back in here was also a smaller package of of little gems let me show you what i did with them already and let me get these try not to get everything just scattered about um she sent these it's a salt and pepper shaker and she had a message on the top of, of one that um, she said, handmade, I keep small items like beads and rubber bands, etc. So the, the package of beads that she had sent, I put in this one jar. So they're already in there because she sent me a whole package of just beads and gems that I can use while I make the flowers. So I said, I'm going to put them right in there. And so that's what I did. They went right in that jar. And they're so pretty. The jars are so pretty. I got to leave them out somewhere where, um, did she? Okay. I'll call her back. Um, and then in this package, let's see if I can move, move some of this, this, me, okay, let me put this over here. Put this over here. This, okay, oopsie, there. This here package now had, has got um, like jewelry findings in it and some beads. 
this one here is one that really caught my eye because these are some kind of seeds. They're some kind of a seed or a nut. And something from nature is what this string is made from. Something from nature. Because now this one here chipped, the outside of it chipped off and you can actually see the nut meat inside of there, inside of that one. So that one really intrigued me. And then here's a little tassel of chain, paper clips. Here's some more chain. This is like, um, this um, is like wrapped wire, wrapped wire to make that design and to make that kind of a chain. And here is some quilting clips. These are always very handy. These here are beads put together in little circles. So I'm, I'm thinking they might have been just put this way is um, just to keep them in, and meant to take them apart and use them for different, different elements in things. And then here was some more beads. These ones, I was saying how I love these because they're flat. There's a hole goes through the one side comes out the other and how we can I can take these and actually stitch these on to my snippet roll that I'm making and this big blue one too is the same way and I don't, this almost looks like some kind of stone because they're not all um, they're not all just perfect in in their shape they've got like blemishes in them so I think there's some kind of a natural stone and then in this package is a whole lot of metal embellishments that are so pretty so pretty and I will find something beautiful to do with this look at this heart on that one that is so pretty and then there's two of these round ones and so those are beautiful. Thank you, Yolanda. These, I wish my first video was actually taping um, because, see, when you're going through it the second time, it just isn't, well, it's still exciting, of course, but it's, I already know what's in there. So it's like open your Christmas presents for the second time. So I'm going to put these back in here to keep those together. And um, these are so pretty, so pretty. Let's see. Okay, I went through that. Okay, and then, oh, this was something too. I put that up there because this is raffia ribbon. When I saw this, I was excited because I was just saying, because I'm getting, I'm going to have a little uh, small sale, online sale on, um, on Monday and I was putting some things together and I was thinking oh these would be pretty if I had raffia ribbon to tie around them because if you know in in presentation you know and and then I said but I don't have any so it's okay but now I do have some so I was excited to see that and um, let me see oh and in these two salt and pepper shakers were in this here bag which the bag is beautiful and that's handmade and then inside there is a is a um ornament to go on my christmas tree i was not going to put up my christmas tree because i only got a little short four foot tree that i put on a table and i thought well i probably won't put it up but now that i have this i said you know what i'm gonna put my tree up and so it says for the mighty one has done great things for me Holy is his name, Luke 1, 49. And that's beautiful. And it's got this little sleeping bag to stay in there and be safe. Okay, so that's that right there. And then, then I wanted to show you. I already put this away in here, but this was in there. And I thought, well, what is that? And then I read the note, and it says, this is what you use. Like if you're using, it's a finger. And if you're using hot glue gun and you need to hold something down, you hold it down with this. 
and so right away I took this and put it in with my hot glue gun so that I will know where that so I will have it right at the ready when I use my hot glue gun because I keep that in here and then let's see what what am I missing I'm then here was she sent me some coloring sheets beautiful coloring sheets with the little dogs how cute they are beautiful coloring sheets and she also sent me these are labels these are sticky labels and this will be neat because I'll be able to use some of these when I do my sale too maybe and um and then okay and then oh there was so much then this is a large piece of pink lace lacy lace look how pretty and I was saying how this reminds me of the Priscilla curtains we used to use back in the day and you had to have like three or four curtain rods to get them all up and pretty and how they were just so layered but that lace reminds me of those curtains I think my mom had pink ones in her bedroom at one time she made my dad deal with pink okay now and and then this package bling and ribbon and when I pulled that out I thought oh my gosh look at all that bling and look at all of this it's in sheets have you ever seen bling in sheets like that look at that and so you can cut that apart and I seen where she used a lot of this in that journal too but look at all of these different colors and it's sheets of bling these are like I did not know they sold things in sheets like this and every color of the rainbow this one's a little bit different because this these ones are all um, single little gems these are like the little round gems but it's also got like little squares in there so that would makes that one a little bit different that's the same as that one then these ones are bigger and look how you could cut each one of these apart independently and um, use them on different kind of crafties and of course here's purple my favorite I love purple and look at that's a big piece with a whole lot of stuff and then um, and then here's white satin ribbon and then this ribbon is what kind of intrigued me because then where I showed you these flowers that she put together she made these flowers in this one and I was looking at this like this one right here and it looks like the ribbon is folded you know in fact it looks like she used that one right right there it's folded and then twisted around to make it look like a rose right in the middle right it looks like a real rose and I was and if it's what I think it is I've tried to do these before and I've had problems with it but this ribbon is like a it's a stiffer ribbon and I think I could fold it and I'm gonna try and make one out of this ribbon and see if I have better luck with it on um, this one because I didn't have too good luck when I tried to make them before probably I could find a video where somebody is explaining it to where I can understand but usually I have to have somebody sit right with me to to learn something so that was that and then this this is amazing this here look at that little it's like a little dress isn't that pretty there is strips of fabric it's like an organza fabric or almost like a sari silk maybe like a sari silk or organza in strips that are there and then there's ribbon and lace and beads these strong little beads and then there's also what I thought was really cool was this chain with a lobster clasp on the end and so then I thought well you could take a, any kind of a charm and add it your favorite charm and just add that to that and have a charm hanging hidden down in that skirt and that would be wonderful she took a piece of cardboard 
in the cardboard see here how it's made shaped like a skirt back here and then with just the two straps of the gown up here and then the whole thing she used a lot of that ribbon here the um she used the this box pleated ribbon here and that's what she went over the shoulders with and then some of the um bling to add sparkle and the ribbon that it's just i love this i'm going to be making some of these so that was amazing and then oh my gosh then look at this she made this this is a velvet heart it's velvet it's puffy she's got um uh, cotton batting or cotton wadding in there she's got these beautiful um like wires i guess you would buy these like in a in a um in the in the area of the store with uh with the um hmm, wedding supplies and all and that is so pretty on there and then and then these leaves actually have wire in them so you can fold them and then i do believe she made that rose that's another one of those ribbon roses and then look at this just hanging in the center is those beautiful little flowers and on the back she's got that finished off with with um fabric and you can see you can peek in there and you can see that um she's got the batting in there to make it so soft and pretty and then a little hanger on there this is going to hang in my inspiration in my sense I got a place where I hang a lot of stuff on the wall in my sewing room and then she's going to hang on there and um let me see is there anything oh then this was actually the first bag that I pulled out and I was excited I was excited for them post-it notes because that's another thing I was saying oh I need post-it notes for when I'm doing my little sale so I can write the buyer's name hopefully there'll be some buyers and the price I can write on them and then their post-it notes so they'll stick right to the packaging and then she sent also three water pens so for using the um when you're using your watercolors these pens to use these pens work better and I love they're all three different tip sizes and so you fill them up with water and then these are really nice the tip sizes are amazing I love them and so these are going to be awesome to use when you use these you don't need to have um, a panel well you still I guess need a little cup of water then she sent me a whole bunch of these reinforcements and like I was saying you can use these whole reinforcements for so many different things you can paint them you can color them you can spray them you can color them in any way and not just for whole reinforcements but for um, building your embellishments how you can put things um, building your embellishments okay let's see now um, yeah once you're going through it the second time and then I just threw things let me see now here we're still in the bag here because I put some of these things back in the bag I pulled this one bag out this was here and she said she said for yourself or give, give as gifts God bless and it's a paparazzi bag and I thought you know and I really thought when I pulled this bag out that it's the bag says paparazzi but I'm sure it's not paparazzi you know because we recycle everything and then I started digging in that bag and yes the whole thing was full of paparazzi jewelry this is a beautiful um this here is and I love long this is a long a long um necklace and it's got the earrings to match and look at the beautiful colors I want to take this out I didn't take it out before and now, now I think I want to take it out and I want to see this because this is the kind of stuff 
I had a doctor's appointment the other day, and I don't go anywhere, you know. I, I'm home all the time, but I had to go to the doctor. And so, and so I dressed, got dressed and put on a necklace and, and everything. And so, you know, because I don't go anywhere, I, I use that opportunity. But now this, see, I like things like this that are kind of long and big. I love long and bigness. I don't wear like a choker type of necklace or real dainty necklaces. I'm just not a dainty person. And this here is so pretty. The the um it's it's amazing. You know what I'm thinking? You could probably wear this as a double strand or a long single strand. And then it's got the earrings in here to match. Those are beautiful. And then, oh, this ring was in there. This ring, it's real diamonds. I love the paparazzi rings because one time that I ordered from paparazzi at one time, I ordered rings. This is, this one wasn't from the paparazzi, but this is how they're made with, um, with a stretch cord in there. And so I love that. And then here is another long necklace. And then look at the bottom of that one. That That is so pretty. The, the dangle on there, it looks to me almost like Aztec. It's so pretty. And then that one has, um, its earrings are chains to match the chain. And so that one's got earrings too. This one I love. This one. I, I guess if you had to choose a favorite is this one. Look at this. This is so pretty. And it's got the earrings. It's got the earrings. And this is so pretty. And I had just got Papa and I, I ordered us each a long sleeved t-shirt because I said, we're going to need like a long sleeved t-shirt. You know, in the cold weather, you know, just to have a lot, you know, you can wear under other things. And so I ordered each one and it just came today too. And, but mine is like a royal blue, not a royal blue. It's like a navy blue. And I thought this against the navy blue t-shirt is going to make me look very fashionable. Don't you think? I love this one. I love, love, love that one so much. And then this bracelet, I was impressed. This is so pretty because I seen it when I first seen it. I thought, oh gosh, and bracelets just don't fit me. But then when I actually opened it up and saw how long this piece of chain was, and then it's got a lobster clasp at the end, it will fit me. It will go around my wrist. And I love this. I love this here so much. Thank you, Papa. Papa brought me a drink. He keeps me a drinking woman. Which I was already getting a little bit dry there. So that was perfect. See, he can read my mind. Once you've been together a hundred years, you read each other's minds. And then this is another bracelet, although I have... I don't know if I've got it tangled up somehow or something that I'm not getting it to lay flat. And I don't know why I'm not getting it to lay flat. But if I have to take it apart and put it back together, I will to make it different. To make it, maybe it's, no, it's not a necklace. That would be for a little china doll. But, um, so it's definitely a bracelet. But I think, because, I think I'm going to work on that one and make it work because I love it. And then here's another long one. Oh, this is the one that has the heart. Look, it's got a heart at the bottom. And see how the chain is attached to the two tops of the heart. And then just the long chain. And then the earrings are just a um, tassel of chain. And those are pretty. I love the earrings that are tassels of chains like that. And then this 
Oh, this one too. No. This is a bracelet. It's like a cuff bracelet. Now, of course, that's not going to fit me because I have got these big old farmer wrists. But it's put together with strands of uh, elastic cord. And what I'm going to do with this, Yolanda, is because I love it. I just love this. And I love bracelets. And this was one here was sent to be my Tracy. Tracy and Larry sent me this. And I wore this a lot. But it was it because it fit. And then, and then this is a bracelet I can wear that my daughter had gave me. But what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to... I think what would be really, really pretty is to go between, see how it's stretchy in between each one of these links? If I go in between with like a bead, in between just enough of them to make it to where it fits me. And then, but I think what would look so pretty, in, and there was some beads in one of these things, is like a bead that is almost um, oh, like like wooden, like a wooden little bead, or you know that color that will m meld with this really good. But I love this bracelet. I love it. That is so pretty. And that's the kind of things I like. I like kind of like bulky things. And then, oh, and this one. Look at this. That's a paparazzi. Paparazzi, yeah. But look at that with the um, um, turquoise, you know, southwestern. So pretty. And that one is, uh, you know, open at the bottom. So even if you have to stretch it a little bit to make it fit, it would be fine. And, yes, and that was... That's all that, all that jewelry was in there, in that little bag. And when I seen them, it said paparazzi. I really didn't think it really was paparazzi, but it really was paparazzi. So anyhow, thank you so much, Yolanda. I wish my first, my first video, I love this. I, my first video, I guess I was probably more excited. I don't know. I'm still excited though, and and I have so much to look forward to in seeing what is in this. Now I hope I didn't miss anything on the second go round because there's so much in here. But this is beautiful. This this is beautiful. And she mentioned something in her note. Let me see. I didn't even read the whole because she wrote like a letter, but um. Um, I have to, okay, there was, she wrote it, but anyway, she wrote, she says, I wouldn't mind if you threw it away. She feels like she overdid it or something. I love it. I think it's beautiful. There's no way I would ever throw this away. And um, this is in my life forever. But she, apparently she lost a daughter. Her daughter passed away in 2011. And um, she said when she lost her daughter, she learned how little value there is in things. And that... If I threw it away, it wouldn't matter. Whatever. I mean, I will not ever throw this away. But you know, that really kind of is so true, is you learn the value, how much you value your loved ones. And nothing is valued any more than a child. So I feel, I, you know... And I guess... What did she say? Was it on this one? Have to explain about my handmade journal. What happened? Oh my gosh. Went overboard and way beyond. 
I'm calling it my open book journal. I use coffee filters, iron them on low medium heat. Please, 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 I will not be hurt if you trash it. Believe me. My feelings don't get hurt. I was watching your videos and not realizing where I was at after the death of my 29 year old daughter in 2011 nothing matters to me material wise i live one day at a time and that really says so much right there and it is sad that she lost her daughter that i am that is sad i can't imagine losing one of my children i have six children i would not want to lose any of them i've got 12 grandchildren and six great grandchildren losing one of them I, I don't know how I, I've not had to lose a child. I'm, and so I just can't imagine what it would be like. But yes, that does give you that um, the feeling of how things that you might have thought were so important or so valuable, nothing is as valuable as your loved ones, especially your children or grandchildren or whatnot. But no, Yolanda, I ain't throwing this thing away. This one here is gonna be here forever. And like I said, I'm gonna put it on my dining room table and I'm going to be using this. It's not gonna just look, be there to look pretty. I can just pull out, a well, that one's not got something written on it. I can just pull out one ribbon and I can read whatever is on that particular one that day but i pulled this one out i didn't read it yet it was just in there and so i said because i always do read something spiritual or something um inspirational or something that is just a reminder that we need to love ourselves that kind of thing a helpful something i read Every, well, I read them every day anyway, but I read them at the end of every one of my videos. And this one here, it said, Why We Must Forgive. And so I'm going to read that. I haven't read it yet, and I'm going to read it now. Have you been hurt, misused, abused, treated wrong, wrongly or improperly, rejected? Has it affected your emotional state? Do you really want to be healed? Do you really want to get well? Will you forgive? I believe that most people are abused in one way or another during their lifetime. It may be in the form of physical, verbal, emotional, or sexual abuse. Whatever form it takes, abuse causes a root of rejection, which is a devastating problem in our day. I know all too much about this. I was sexually, physically, verbally, and emotionally abused from the time I can remember until I left home at the age of 18. I have been rejected, abandoned, betrayed, and divorced. I know what it means to hurt, and I thank God that he has shown me how to recover. Wounded emotions can become a prison that locks us into our pain and keeps others out. Perhaps you are in the condition in life in life where I was an emotional prisoner. It is a bitter, resentful, angry prison cell, and forgiveness is the key that unlocks the door that holds us there. How long have you been there? Do you want to be free of it? And um, that's very interesting because that brings me to something my husband and I talk a lot. We just jabber back and forth in whatever subject. But just in the last few days, we were talking one day about about forgiveness and how... Yes, Papa? There's a three empty soap containers. Are you saving them? They're up in the back of the uh, washroom window. No, I'm not saving them. Okay, thank you. But we were talking about about forgiveness and sometimes it's hard you think you think that somebody has done such a harm to you that how can you can forgive them or they have done such a harm to somebody you love and how can you forgive them and but we have we've come to the understanding that you can forgive somebody you can forgive somebody that has wronged you or that has wronged 
um, someone you love or even somebody you don't know, you can forgive that person without saying it's okay what you did. Um, it, you don't have to say that that's okay, but you really don't have to, you don't, we don't judge other people. We are not, that is not our judge, our job to judge one another. And so when you have something that it, somebody has hurt you, in my life, I have somebody that years and years ago hurt me, and I carried that with me like forever. That person that hurt me is no longer even alive anymore. But, and that makes it a little bit easier to handle. But you know, one day, I really came to the understanding that I forgive him. I forgave him. He wasn't there for me to tell him I forgave him. And you don't have to tell the person. You forgive from your heart. You forgive because you don't know what was going on in the mind, in their head, that made them want to be abusive or whatever. You don't know what caused that. Where did that, where did that happen in their life that they thought they could go ahead and be like that? And so... If you find that you can forgive somebody who has hurt you, but you're doing it for yourself, you're giving yourself the freedom from that, from that ugh, prison that you're in because of those, that abuse or whatever it was. And um, if I don't know if I'm making any sense, but you can forgive without saying it's okay what you did. It, you, you don't have to say it's okay that you beat me up and threw me in the road. You, you know, you, you, but you can forgive. And when you forgive, you are actually just letting go of that, um, that bondage or whatever it is that keeps you locked into that memory it almost helps that memory go away and I didn't mean to go into all that but this is just and I didn't read this ahead of time it says Jesus came to open prison doors and let and set the captives free he wants to heal you Jesus is willing are you and that that's just that just says so much right there that just says so much so thank you all for hanging out and watching this as i did my go re rewent through all my beautiful gifts from yolanda and yolanda i can't thank you enough i cannot thank you enough for these beautiful things there's so many things i'm going to be using in my arts and my crafts and and there are things that i am going to use i mean these are awesome awesome and just love this i can't wait for my next doctor's appointment so i can wear this necklace when's my next doctor's appointment not till next month but anyway i love this i really do love this so pretty so pretty all of it all of it everything in here there's nothing that i don't think it's just beautiful i hope i showed you everything on my second go round, but i think i did and um, again, I thank you so much, Yolanda. And um, you are a gift, Yolanda. You are a gift. So with that, I ask, I ask God to watch over each and every one of you, every step you take, every move you make, and keep you safe, keep you happy, and keep you smiling. And I will see you on the next video. God bless.